Hello, fishy internet people. It has been a while since I have shared my goldfish tank, so and there's a lot that has changed in it. So I figured it was about time. <laughs> This is my 40 breeder with my golf ball pearl scales. Goldfish, of course. <laughs> um, it's quite different than it used to be. Mostly because when I went for my surgery and spent an unexpected week in the hospital, these guys didn't get fed. And they ate all the plants. So, we have it replanted. But first I'll show you what I got on it. I got a sponge filter, big sponge filter in each corner. Hang on back. Cheap light from Walmart. LED, four foot shop light. And in this corner we'll do the plants. We got a couple different kinds of mosses in here. That tall stuff in the back is hair grass, but it's umbrella hair grass. And it makes quite the mess. So I'm constantly trimming it. Um, the goldfish love it, though. Because these little chubby guys tend to be a bit buoyant because of their body shape. So when they want to sleep, they kind of burrow themselves into the plants, and the plants kind of hold them in place. So that way they aren't constantly popping up to the top like little golf balls. So anyway, so yeah, that's the hair grass. Some Ludwigia. More moss. A McRock. And another McRock buried in the moss there. That is Brazilian Pennywort. And... There's a very little bit of um, Dwarf Sagittarius trying to come back. See, it was planted real heavy with Dwarf, dwarf Sagittarius and with Wisteria, but the goldfish ate it. So, I think that's about it on the plants. Oh, this here. This was a little tiny piece of plant, I mean little tiny tiny, and I thought it was wisteria. When I was feeding them duckweed, I saw it floating in the duckweed, so I snagged it out and put it back and put some in the tank, thinking it was wisteria, but I don't think it's wisteria. I think it might be water sprite, but I am not sure, so I've never had water sprite before. I've had wisteria, but it didn't look anything like that. So if you know, let me know in the comments. And for fishies, we have three male golf balls and one female. This little guy here, <laughs> the wiggly, wiggly little guy, that is um, Corvus. And this one, this big guy here, that is Kobe. Solid orange one here. 
you could have the light so you could see him. That is Jimmy. This one is the only female, and that is Dorkula. So, they have famous names, you know, they have to have famous names. They, and if you never kept fancy goldfish, they have a lot of personality, and they are a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So, the tank they're in has a lot of algae in it, too. And the glass has scratches here and there because this used to be my turtle tank for years and years. And turtles have nails and they like to beg. So yeah, so it got kind of scratched up, but they don't mind. And I feed them tetracolor tropical granules. Of course, of course, they like those. And they get some... Um, high quality goldfish pellets. The goldfish pellets, so I have to soak, like free soak in warm water because they're hard and they're big. And goldfish in particular, but especially when you get really round bodied goldfish like these, can get constipated very easily. So you have to be a little bit careful with them. So I pre soak their pellets. And I also give them peas about twice a week shelled peas or like frozen peas and I blanch them real quick and then um, take the outer shell off of them and I feed them three or four a piece and what else do they get oh they get a worm like an earthworm that I'll chop up for them I know that's gross but I do it because it's for my fishies for the, my little babies um, They'll get that like once or twice a week. And that's a good high protein for them. As they are adults, they don't need as much protein. But when they're little, and these guys are still all fairly young, they need the protein. So, and then of course I get a variety of other stuff. Sometimes I give them some homemade rapashi and... Sometimes they get other veggies and just, you know, whatever. They aren't too picky. The main thing is you have to be a little bit careful because you don't want to get them constipated. So, I think that is about it. I should feed them a little bit, huh? I already fed them a little while ago, but I'll feed them again. As you know, goldfish are always hungry. Oh, they get duckweed from my other tanks. When I clean the duckweed out of my other fish tanks. These guys gobble it right up. They love it. And it's good for them. It's raining fish food.
eventually, yes, I do intend to breed these guys. This one is the male that I want to use. And of course, I don't have no choice in the female. That's the female there. And I will probably have to strip them by hand because Kobe is not the fastest fish in the world. So I'm quite sure the other males at this point would beat him to her. <laughs> and like I say, he's the one that I want to use, so. So any questions or comments, put down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer. And um, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Hit the like button, and everybody have a great day.